a fantastic venue this is. A big thank you to Andrea. Uh, thank you, Andrea, to Ray, who's travelled all the way from Ipswich to be here, part of the CEO. Well done, Ray. Right? And sleeping out, which is even more exciting. And, uh, and to Bridget who looks after all the bookings and what have you at CUA. It's a fantastic space and uh, thank you very much for helping us out from time to time. My name's Jeff McDonald and the reason I'm here tonight is to take some before photos and then tomorrow morning at Inbound, I'll take the after photos. So looking particularly at Paul Hilton at the moment in his onesie uh, leopard skin. Just come forward here, Paul, just for a minute there. Here he is. Um, so that's probably... Uh, give him a round of applause. It's, trying to reconnect. it's not something he's bought specifically for tight. tonight, as I understand, but it's still, is it? Or is it, you do wear that? Yeah, You do. It's a standard thing. But look, uh, you are here for a very important reason, that's to raise money for the base and to Nat and Tiff, and of course, Nat's sleeping out all week. So, um, anyone else sleeping out all week? Troy? That's Troy. Troy, well done, champion. Yeah, thanks, there he is. He's Good my on homeless you, buddy. Well done, mate. <laughs> Your beard will grow up a bit, bit bigger too by the time you finish. <laughs> but that's good. But look, congratulations on putting your hand up and doing what you're doing. Um, Nat will probably talk a little bit more about the logistics of the night. Uh, but I'm looking forward to catching up with you tomorrow morning. Uh, before we do that though, Chris the tyre man Lipke, you all know Chris, so you should know him. If you don't, certainly make yourself known to him. Uh, he's uh, almost become an icon uh, for our region in regard to what he does. He's a champion guy. Uh, and he's got uh, an announcement to make uh, before we hand over to Nat just to say a few words. Chris? Thanks, Jeff. Uh, so recently a few um, of my customers and I have got together and we decided we'd raise a little bit of money for this upcoming event. We know it's such a good cause, what Nat and Tiff do. So, and we managed to scrape together a massive big wad of cash. Cool. Just for you, my friend. Should I thank that here? Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. So, uh, as I understand, there's a couple of thousand dollars there in cash, so um, which is fantastic. So, once again, mate. Uh, so look, um, yeah, all the best for tonight. Uh, thankfully, we've had one of the most mildest winters <laughs> on record, uh, and tonight's not dissimilar. So, uh, mind you, it'll get pretty cool about two or three in the morning. Uh, so, all the best for the night. Uh, I will be thinking of you. Not really. Um, <laughs> when, when we meet again tomorrow morning, uh, I'm sure I'll hear a few stories. But uh, importantly, you're doing it for a very good cause, raising money for the base. So uh, to Nat and Tiff. Uh... Homelessness is one of those uh, hidden problems that we've got throughout the city. Uh, we've just heard uh, from Nat and Tiff, there's four to 600 people homeless any one night in Toowoomba. Uh, so it's a problem that slides under the radar. So one of the things uh, that I've wanted to do is to get to know each and every problem that we face in the city and homelessness is one of them. So, I think there are two critical things to come out of this. Um, first of all is to uh, raise some money so that the base can continue its great work and uh, anybody out there watching this video um, please go to their website and, and make a small donation uh, because every dollar will make a difference to some. Um, but the other part of it is to create awareness in our society that, that homeless is a real issue issue that, that faces everybody everywhere because it's on our streets here in Toowoomba and uh, we need to come together as a community, work harder, create awareness, support people who are trying to help and work out how we can solve the problems that people have who find themselves on the street. Happen and, and, um, so yeah, we regularly uh, um, you know, find people's belongings around here or um, connect with people and um, you know, I know that the soup kitchen's very close here, and so people do choose to actually find somewhere close to the soup kitchen. Um, yeah. Yeah, and with guys like that in those cars, like, we can smile and we can laugh, but mm. for someone who's actually experiencing homelessness, and they're called a homeless bum, they can't laugh at all, because they've already got low self-esteem, and that just reiterates that feeling of homelessness of hopelessness and so you know language is so important to us so one of the things we have at the base soup kitchen is blackboards with just really positive sayings like hey just to lift up their spirits our aim is that when people come and have a meal they'll come in and they'll feel 
they'll have a full stomach. They'll have an opportunity to have a conversation, to be greeted, to have a smile and to be talked and lifted up because we want people to leave better than they came in. So, you know, that's one of the great things about what we do with food. We can always find food to fill people up. Yeah. We always make sure that we don't turn away people. And yeah, we offer a meal, but we have so many other things there, like rags and blankets and clothes and heaps of stuff. And if you guys ever want to come down and check it out, we're open at 11 a.m. weekdays at 10 Neal Street. Yeah, it's a nice Ah, G'day, it's just gone 5 a.m. I usually wake up at 5 a.m. and go, I feel like crap. But anyhow, there were some skateboarders here at one o'clock this morning, skateboarding up and down the the platform. Had I saw one, one guy had four empty bottles of Corona, kept knocking the glassware together, and they got a photo photo of us all sleeping here. They, one of them had a camera, but oh, I couldn't get back to sleep after that, tossing and turning. And Nat's right, got a sore neck, bones are aching. It's not as cold as what I thought it would be, but um, it's uh, about 5:30 in the morning. There's still some people asleep. Hey, hey. He's on the job early, Peter Collins. Hey, there you go. Good, good mate. Peter Collins on the job early.